Hello everybody, this is Willy123T, and this was a 4th gen standard match with Julio, and uh, he's fairly new to Wi-Fi battle, like, uh, so uh, this match is really impressive considering that, but uh, I don't really know what to say about this. I, I did make a lot of misplays in this battle, I, I, me, myself, it was a bad battle for me, but this was the battle itself was actually really good and really close. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. This was a long battle, but <clears throat> trust me, you're in for a treat. <clears throat> so I do take out his uh, Tyranitar with my Nido Queen, and uh, I don't even know what I did before that. Uh, so he brings in his uh, Breloom, which I thought was a Lombre at first. I was like, oh, that's cool. So he's going to Seed Bomb, and that's not really going to do much, so I'm just going to go for the Super Fang just to get s some damage in, so whatever I can go into after I fought her, fought her out, my uh, Nido Queen can take care of him, but he goes to the Spore just to, you know, give me sleep so he can do whatever the hell he wants to me, because he's a sick pervert like that, but uh, alright, so since I'm asleep, I'm thinking I should probably get out of there, because I do have a, a decent amount of health left that I might be able to do something with. And I was seeing maybe a seed bomb coming or something like that. Something that my Zapdos could resist. But he went for the uh, facade when I brought in my Zapdos. <clears throat> but no problem. I take it pretty well. He goes into his Metagross now, which... Too bad for him. I have a... Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm thinking of... I thought I had Hidden Power Fire. and That's why I was going for Ombre Loom. But I actually have Hidden Power Ice on the Zapdos. So I know I can't do anything because the only other move I have is uh, Thunderbolt. I think... Other, uh, so I bring in my uh, Blaziken, which is a huge threat, so he's going to get out of there, go into his lap here, but uh, since it is part ice, my over my obvious overheat is going to still do neutral damage, and I figured that could potentially do a lot, but it looks like he's got quite a bit of bulk in this uh, Lapras, uh, as far as special defense goes, I guess. So I go for the vacuum wave, thinking, uh, alright, th that was one of my big mistakes. I shouldn't have went for the vacuum wave, that would have saved me so much if I would have just went for superpower over vacuum wave because I didn't need the priority because I'm faster than the Lapras because I don't think his Lapras was timid so goddamn so now he's gonna rest up and get all that health back after killing my Blaziken so there I fucked up really bad it's okay cuz I got sweet coon in here oh yeah he had that uh, chesto berry to wake himself up but it's alright cuz I got sweet coon so I'm gonna set up my first call mind here because I know he can't do anything because I doubt he's gonna have like hidden power electric or something like that. So I'm just I'm just sitting here chilling like a villain, and uh, I'm figuring I might as well just set up a second call mind because if he stays in, there's nothing he can do to me, and if he switches, well, let's just hope he doesn't go into this uh, Breloom, which he did. But I've seen this thing in action in a previous battle we had, and I figured out my Suicune could at least take one of these seed bombs and then kill it off with an ice beam. So you see, I took that seed bomb really well, actually, and I'm going to be able to take it out with an ice beam, which is good for me because, goddamn, I did not want to deal with a Breloom. Alright, so he's bringing back in his Metagross, figuring, hey, we can, uh, fucking... I, I don't fucking know, but anyways, he gets the Zen Head, but he gets a crit and a flinch. Jesus Christ, I was going for rest that turn. Rest. I would have got all that HP back. He couldn't have done shit because he wouldn't have got any more crits because he's fucking gay. And goddamn, that flinch mattered so much. A crit, no. It, maybe if, if it was just a flinch, it wouldn't have mattered. And if it was just a crit, it wouldn't have mattered. But the, if he if he had, he just had to get both. And now I have no idea where we're at in the battle. All right, so he brings in his Gengar because he knows I'm locked into that whatever I just did. Probably like fucking d double edge or something. So uh, I've got I bring in my Nido Queen, just figuring might as well fodder this out so I can get a safe switch into something else because I don't want any Pokemon that I can use as potential threats to his others to take the, any uh, Shadow Balls from this Gengar. So I'm gonna go into my Tauros thinking I could possibly outspeed him and go for the pursuit, but no, that's not going to happen. He's going to kill me off with uh, Thunderbolt. So, I'm kind of in a little bit of a predicament here. I'm going to bring in my Zapdos and figure that just maybe I could live a Shadow Ball. Well, I, I don't know. I don't really... Th I probably shouldn't have even had that thought go across my mind, but I did, so I'm dead. So, I bring in Blissey, which I probably should have brought in instead of the Zapdos, because... 
Well, no, because I needed to get that extra sandstorm. I don't really know. But, uh, regardless, this Gengar's dead. Thank you, Sandstorm. So he brings back in Lapa, his Lapras, and he's gonna set up the curse. So this is pretty much his only physical Pokemon. Actually, this he only has two Pokemon left. This and a crazy-ass motherfucker that you'll see in uh, just a couple minutes. Alright, so... Here, I get the Thunder Wave because Blissey's my only poke left, and I need all the hacks I can get. So he goes for the Waterfall. He already has uh, one Curse Up, I believe. Yeah, so that doesn't do very much. So I'm like, alright, that's good. He can rest, do whatever the fuck he wants. But there's really no need for me to think ahead for him to rest, because watch this. I get Seismic Toss, the seismic toss Off. He gets Parahaxed. Oh my god. And he's just barely going to live that after Sandstorm. He gets Parahaxed again, so... Oh my god. So I'm just going to soft boil up, because I figured... If he's going to rest, there's no point in me seismic tossing. And if he gets Parahaxed, he'll get taken out by the Sandstorm. And no, whatever his last Pokemon is, I didn't actually know at the time. I figured I probably need soft boil. And here, shit gets a little out of hand. He's going to bring in this Porygon Z, set up the Nasty Plot, which he's obviously going to need. And I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, because we do not want this thing to set up. That is our number one objective. Do not let this set up. So, I'm going to do all I can do in Seismic Toss. Well, I guess I could potentially Ice Beam, but that wouldn't do anything. Alright, and look how much that Tri-Attack did. Jesus, and that's just with plus two. God. Alright, so, I'm going to Soft Boil up because I know I could take one more after that, but he said, I'm not going to chance it, and go for the recover. If he had been dumb enough to not go for the recover, which, honestly, I don't know why he would have been dumb enough to not go. Yeah, and look at this, all these turns, and I haven't gotten any Parax, but, yeah, fuck. Alright, so I'm going to just keep seismic tossing. That is that is my game plan as of right now, is to just keep seismic tossing. If he goes for an attack, soft boil, because... Like I said, I'll be faster than him because of Parahax. So, what what is really worrying me at this point is the fact that he is gaining back more than I can take out, which tells me he's getting more than 100 HP per recover, which is equivalent to saying I'm fucked. So, I'm just sitting here besides Big Tossing away, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping... Got my fingers crossed, my toes crossed, my dicks crossed, hoping for Parahax. That is honestly the only way I see myself winning this game, is with Parahax at this very point. So, he goes for the Tri-Attack, and like I said, he's at plus four. He's got the, no, I, when the fuck did I say that? I don't know. But he was at plus four, had adaptability, and was modest, and had max, max special attack. So, I argued that the crit mattered. Then I did the calcs and found out it didn't matter, so fuck me. Good game, Julio. I really like this battle. I was going to submit it to PMP Beta, but this battle is just too... Well, this will be remembered for a while, so I want it to be up on my channel. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and remember to drop a comment below. I'll see you guys later.